how we doing everybody and welcome to man versus 7800 let me know if the audio levels are okay um in the chat there make sure everything's not too loud i have a tendency to start out with the audio blaring <laughs> but thank you all for joining me on this edition of man versus 7800 we are zero for two against the 7800 very surprising um but I'm hoping to turn it around today because we got Ikiri Warriors for the Atari 7800. It's low. The gameplay audio is low. See, I went too far the other way. Let me know if that's better. I, I want you guys to be able to hear it but not get drowned out by it. So today, turn it up. All right, let me know if that's better. So today we're gonna do a couple things. We're obviously going to beat Ikiri Warriors. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we need a win. But we're also going to draw some winners from our giveaway that I had initiated about a week ago. So we'll do that maybe in the middle of the stream. We'll take a little uh, coffee break and we'll pick some winners. Oh, my voice is very low. My voice is very low. Let me see if I can fix that. See, I, I changed my setup here the night before a show, and that was probably a bad idea. So, <laughs> of course, everything's all screwed up now. I don't know what, <laughs> what we're going to do, but it's all right. Can you guys hear me a little better? Is this, is this better? Just let me know. Pop it up, because I think the chat is delayed. But yeah, we'll adjust the sounds here. But we're going to do some giveaway drawings. We're going to do that towards the middle of the show. But I think we're going to start out and, and try to get a little ways into Ikiri Warriors. Ikiri Warriors is a long, still a little weird, but sounds a little distant. Yeah, I, hmm. I don't know what to do about it. Let me make sure that it's... Let me uh, double check that it's picking up the right microphone. It sounds fine to Obsidian. Better now, says Elder Geek Gamer. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm getting more betters than not. So, again, just let, let me know uh, if it gets a little worse here. But we're going to play the game a little bit because this is a long game to get through. Um, a successful run, I think, takes like 45 minutes. And if we die halfway through, I think we'll give myself two chances. I can die once and restart, but after that, the stream's going to be way too long. My TV is cranked, still weird. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll give it a shot here. If people complain about the audio, I will jump into it. Uh, I was told I say Ikiri wrong. I don't know. Is it Ikari? Maybe it's Ikari. I don't know. Make sure, uh, too, that you hit the like button if you don't mind. It helps me out a lot. And, of course, you're going to like it anyway. We're having a good time here, guys. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We're going to play some games. Um, I'll just get started with the gameplay here. The sooner we do that, the sooner we can pick a wiener for the drawing. Yeah. <laughs> See, Money says, most of us are okay with a long stream. Oh, I want to say, too... Um, longtime supporter of the channel and viewer, Ramy Butler. Today is his 26th wedding anniversary with his wife there. So, happy anniversary to you two. I hope it's a good one. Uh, don't ignore her all day for the Atari, but, you know, give her a little bit of attention. See if she'll play the Atari with you. That'd be a great anniversary, I think. But let's get uh, going here. It's I... It's Ari... It's Ikari. I. Kari. Ikar. I. I. You guys are messing me up. The more I. <laughs> I. I know some people go absolutely nuts if you mispronounce something. They. They. Uh, want to correct you immediately. Um, I hope you guys. Real quick. I hope anybody that wanted the original line of merch. That's it. I gotta figure out the window thing here too. Uh, I hope anybody that wanted the original line of merch got some because 
I got Hitari. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Um, I was hit with a cease and desist for this because I was using basically Atari's font and the Fuji, and uh, I get it. Ikari, Ikari, I I H is that I I carry I carry. Okay, so. I hope anybody that wanted the, the old merch got it, because I had to change the logo. I, you can see it in the corner there. I think the new logo is pretty cool. I don't know what you guys think. Give me some feedback. We can workshop it. I'm not married to it yet, but yeah, I hope you guys got this, because I can't put them back up, and I, I'm not going to fight Atari. I can try to say that it's, it's legally distinct. I can make the argument that I'm not creating market confusion, but... You know, I, I don't want to fight with, with Atari. That's not what I'm here to do. So I'm hoping my new logo is distinct enough. But if uh, if you guys grabbed one of these, then you have collector's items. List them on eBay for $1,000. Obsidian says iCarly. Okay. Let's get going on the gameplay here because I know some of you are just here to see if you won. And I don't blame you. So we are going to play one player intermediate difficulty and let's go it's good to see everybody in here too i i appreciate all the support guys i see some familiar names some new faces that's great okay let me see this is a weird angle but i want to talk into the mic so i carry i carry i i <laughs> Maybe I should just call it I I K or uh, I W. So I W. Um, God, this is gonna be a weird angle. Let me. I'm gonna try to sit back. See if you guys can hear me still. But I uh, I W has uh, kind of an interesting gaming history here. So it's originally an arcade game that had rotary controls of all things. And when it was ported to various consoles like the NES, uh, some of them tried to emulate that control scheme, understandably so, I suppose. Um, but it was really to the detriment of the game itself because it, it made the game play kind of weird. And uh, it... it, it was not a benefit to to the NES version of the game, that's for sure, as we get into our first tank here. So the Atari version, which was programmed by Imagineering and released in 1990, pretty late in the life. I think most people think uh, 7800 was done by that time. Um, but they did a very smart thing in not trying to emulate those rotary uh, controls. So... What you got is something that controls very well, in my opinion. Um, much better than some of the other versions uh, for hardware that people would consider. Yeah, I need I need a headset. That's I, I agree with you there. NES only does diagonal. I see. I I'm not too familiar with the NES version, so you guys will have to tell me. But I know. That the NES version, people complained about the controls quite a bit. Um, but for the 7800 here, it's it's nearly a flawless experience. I think it's a great game for the console. So the orange guys, they're kind of like the commanders or whatnot. Um, you want to kill them if you can because they drop the power-ups... Uh, the things like the gas and, and uh, what's the other, power, they um, increase uh, stuff with your tank, the ability to keep going in your tank and stuff like that, but, man, I forget how I'm going to go against this guy here. I need to get out of that tank, and we died. Um... Yeah, the, the guys in orange, they... Ooh, you can really lob them grenades. Uh, the guys in orange, they drop your power-ups. 
So you get things like the L, I think, is a longer shot. You get um, the K is to kill, clear the screen, stuff like that. The gas, if you are not in a tank, I believe, is more grenades. I might be wrong on that. Uh, more ammo, maybe. And then the other one, if you're not in a tank, is more ammo. So either or. Um, and the game is not an easy game, all things considered. Like I said, it's a it's a fairly long game. Like power there. I, I forget what that does. So gas is off the screen now. It's hard to keep in your tank too. One, one of the best ways to make it far in this game is to remain in the tank as long as you can. And it's not an easy thing to do. And it, again, the control isn't perfect because the way you control your tank here, oh man, we need some gas. Okay. So the way you control the tank here is you kind of move around as expected, but you gotta shift the turret around with uh, the opposite button, the right button. Let's see if I can get this. So how's everybody doing out in the Atari verse anyway? I hope I hope everybody can hear. I am using the OG Hugo two button uh, gamepad to control the game today. Um, this game is very very hard to play with the original Pro line. Um, I do not recommend it unless you, unless you really. Are looking for a, a challenge <laughs> I would not use the pro line on this game so yeah I, I recommend yeah yep originally developed by SNK that's right um, and it is it's, a, it's an all-time classic arcade game again but it can be hit or miss on the different versions to be sure But yeah, we are using the OG Hugo uh, two-button joypad. OG Hugo makes some great controllers, too. Hey, David's Boxing. Good to see you. It's always good to see you in the chat. Good to see everybody, too. Jolt, Obsidian. Uh, I think I've seen Hugo. Um, uh, see Money. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. At least... At least we're, we stayed alive. We're not doing great right now. One thing I, I learned too by, by doing these live streams is it is so much harder to, to play these games while attempting to keep up with live streaming and, and, and all the stuff that goes with that. So anybody that does this regularly, you know, it's the Twitch, uh, Twitch streaming and stuff, that's crazy. Because it's, it's a hard thing to do. Just a reminder, too. Um, our good friend, podcast co-host, Cousin Vinny, Funkmaster V, whatever you know him as, he started a new YouTube channel. So for people that don't know, Vinny's been on YouTube for over 10 years. He's been making movies for a long time, too. Um, but he's never picked up any traction on, on YouTube. Um, and he, you know, he told me YouTube just don't seem to like him, but he, he was fighting the algorithm basically. So he would put on, uh, his entertainment stuff, movie stuff. He does ghost hunting videos, wrestling videos. Uh, he's a pro wrestler. He, he's big into the paranormal and he would post everything to one channel. And that's why... He didn't get the traction. Yeah, Disco Stew. Hey, Pierre, good to see you. Um, so that's why he wasn't getting the traction that he he should have been getting, honestly, because he does great videos and he's he's been a member of the uh, Atari uh, community on various forums forever for 20, 30 plus years. So he started a new YouTube channel, Atari 7800 Forever. Uh, the YouTube channel 
which is in line with the website that he's been running for the last 20 years. So make sure you, you go and check his videos out, uh, subscribe to his channel, because the guy's been working his butt off for, for you know, 10 years trying to make content on YouTube, and he, he you know, is is struggling to to get there and i know it you know uh, it, he gets down on it uh, and i think the help you know would would mean a lot to him if, if people would subscribe and just check his stuff out but now that he's not fighting the algorithm i i think he'll do just fine he uh he was kind of fighting the system and he, he's very much that kind of guy he 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 believes in free market fight the system uh you know uh, all that stuff but you can't fight the youtube algorithm it's it's you know, it's kind of is what it is it's not one of those things that you you can really fight you know yep thank you thank you uh david's boxing disco stew says Ramy. yep good old disco stew he has a lot of nicknames here on the channel disco stew Funk Master B. He makes fun of my nicknames on the podcast. He says, "What, well, what are you called today? Are you are you Silverback? Because I used to be Silverback on Atari Age, or uh, or are you uh, Pro Gamer? What 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 are we calling you today?" But he has a lot of nicknames too. You know, he's a uh, Funk Master B, Vinny Vineyard, uh, Disco Stew. Um, you know, all all that stuff. So. You know, Benny, you are just as guilty of it as I am. <laughs> and I told him too. My moniker uh, on the stream is a uh, pro game. Oh, up hit my mic. Is a uh, pro gamer, and he uh, he likes to give me a hard time regardless. So, oh man, oh man. Okay. I'm surprised we made it out of that one alive, to be honest. Okay. There we go. Doing some fancy footwork here to stay alive, folks. Because we need to keep these power-ups as long as we can. If you notice, we have the orange grenades. Hey, morning, Pack Billy. Good to see you. I haven't seen you around in a long time, Pac Billy. I'm glad glad you made it to the stream. Um, you got to keep these power ups as long as you can. If you can't tell, we've we've upgraded our gun. I think all the way. We have the the orange shots now. We've upgraded our grenades to the the orange color. But if you lose that stuff, it's it's not a good time. Had to try really hard not to die to one random guy. And again, thanks everybody for joining the stream. If you're just joining us, we are doing a drawing here today. If you left a comment in a previous video, um, we are going to be drawing a winner for that. So there's two prizes being given out. Uh, the big one, obviously, is a free piece of merch from my merch store. Um, that's the one everybody really wants. But you could also win a, uh, I think it's called a 2600 plus. I don't know what, what it does. But, uh, you know, if, if you're not lucky, you could win that one. But the merch, guys, think of the merch. You could get a free cup. I mean, come on. No, I'm kidding. But we are giving, doing a drawing. Uh, you had to have entered on a previous video. You leave a comment talking about what you'd like to see on the channel in the future. And then, uh, uh, based off that comment... Oh, my God, I'm cornered. I got cornered. Based off that comment, um, you know, we, we're going to pick a winner here. Oh, I got killed again. We're going to pick a winner here and... Uh, the water is the deadliest area, in my opinion. Um, and see who's going to win the 2600 plus. So you had to leave a comment. 
Also, as a bonus, I, I'm going to make the videos that were recommended. Um, there was some very, like, specific um, asks. Um, some people wanted to see, like, a video on, you know, uh, the Jaguar 2 and what, what it would have been if it had come out or, you know, uh, specific things like that. And other people were just very general. And that, that was fine. I didn't... There was no rules to how specific he had to be. Comment on the previous live stream? No, it was a comment on a video I did. It, it was a video that was labeled um, giveaway. So on the channel, if, if you watched, there was an announcement video. It was, uh, it had a picture of a 2600 plus and I gave the details for the giveaway and I said we would do it live on stream here. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. So in a few minutes, uh, Oh, this guy is relentless with the grenades. Um, in a few minutes here, we will uh, do that drawing and see who is going to be the big winner of that free Atari Network merch. Okay, got rid of him. And we got an extra life, too, so... You'd rather... <sighs> Wow, uh, so some, some hate on Ikari Warriors, Ikari, I don't know, guys, <laughs> he's uh, in the chat already from Ivory Towers, and it's good to see Ivory Towers, he said he's, he'd rather play Commando, that's a good uh, debate right there, is there anybody here who, wh which game do you prefer, Ikari on the 7800 or Commando? I'm interested if just uh, leave a comment down in the, the live chat. Let me know what you personally prefer. I've always liked uh, I Ikari myself. That that game was preferable to me. Um, just in gameplay, you know, if you look at the sound quality, obviously Commando on the 7800. Uh, if you didn't know, it has the enhanced audio chip, the the pokey audio similar to that of Ball Blazer. Um, one of only two games, the other being Ball Blazer, that had that. So, I, I think most people, because of that, would probably lean towards Commando, but I've always been uh, a fan of this game. So, let me know down in the chat. I c and please... Oh, I... And please continue to correct me in the chat for my pronunciation. I looked down and I didn't realize I was stepping on a darn mine. So there went all them power-ups I picked up. This is a tough area too. Without without having um, the additional power of the of the uh, grenades, this is a tough area to get through, and we might end up dying here. I don't know. You, uh, I found the secret to this game is to be pretty liberal with the the grenades, if I'm honest. you get down bud dog the dog is now jumping on me as my wife and daughters have exited the house to go bathing suit shopping so as you can imagine uh my my twin girls I have two twin daughters taking teenage girls bathing suit shopping is probably going to be the funnest thing that she's done in a while uh, uh because teenage girls feel that everything fits properly they're, they're, you know, not, damn, they're not um, self-conscious of their bodies at all. They're, they're very confident. Uh, that, we got lucky there. We got a uh, extra guy right in time. Okay. So, uh, good luck to my wife as they go shopping. 
I, I'm so glad. I, honey, I, I have to do the stream. The, the, you know, the viewers are counting on me. I'm sorry. As much as I'd love to take uh, my teenage daughters out to shop for bathing suits for this year, um, I have to do this stream. I, and, and, you know, obviously she uh, completely understood. She said, of course, I understand that you have an obligation and I am not mad at you at all for making me do this alone. And I said, um, thank you for understanding, hon. So that's exactly what happened. And there went our final life. We, we made it quite pretty far, and we're going to give this one more go here, guys. But I think this is a good time to uh, catch up on the chat a little bit and to do our drawing. So again, uh, for some of you that are here for the drawing, if you entered, you had to have entered already. There was a previous video. Um, you left a message there stating what you'd like to see on the channel, and you were entered. Uh, two prizes. You get an opportunity to win a piece of Atari Network merch. Uh, that'll be the first drawing. We're going to draw that first here in a minute. And the grand prize winner will get a brand new factory sealed 2600 plus. I, uh, I didn't make any stipulations about shipping anywhere. It's going to go anywhere in the world, so I might pay a fortune in shipping. Um, but we're going to... Yes, Jerome, please hit the like button. If you appreciate the giveaway and the stream and everything, hit the like button. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that drawing in just a second. I just want to take a look at the chat. Uh, Jolt7800, longtime supporter of the channel. Good to see you said it's sad that i heard that a tornado hit ohio and i thought i hope the pro gamer and his atari is okay uh my atari is fine i am fine uh it, it wasn't in my neck of the woods luckily so uh yeah uh but thank you for the kind thoughts nes version is okay i i thought i heard that like the turning in it is, is they try to like keep it close to the arcade and the rotary control um Again, the controller I'm using is the uh, OG Hugo two-button gamepad. Uh, very affordable, um, and I think a lot of people are waiting on the CX78+, Plus, which will probably be good for a lot of you, but some of you might actually prefer this pad. I know I do. Um, so give OG Hugo a look on eBay and uh, OG Hugo's Retro Mod Shop. Um, yeah, Ikari... I, 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 I know I'm saying it wrong, is a classic from SNK. So it was originally done by SNK, and then it was ported by Imagineering um, for Atari on the Atari 7800. Um, let me see here. Hi from Finland, says C Money. Uh, great timing, enjoy this with a beer. Absolutely, kick back, enjoy it. We're gonna do the drawing in just a second here. Pack Billy, oh, when I was talking about the uh, how to enter comment on a previous live stream, yeah, it was it was a video, and I wanted to do the drawing live. Um, obviously, you gotta do it live, and I thought, well, I'm already doing the live here, so um, Ivory Tower explaining a little bit about why he doesn't like um, this game as much as Commando. I'm terrible at this game. I usually lose most of my lives just getting to the first tank, then lose the tank pretty much as soon as I get it. I feel the enemy splash box, the grenade splash box is too large. Yeah, absolutely. It's incredibly tough once you get to the uh, the grenades and the enemy grenades. Um, absolutely. Um, toe muncher. Munching them toes. Good to see you, buddy. Um, yep, uh, David's boxing self-defense fitness strategy. Uh, that's cool. You're going to make a video. Yep, so also the winners also get videos made based on their comments. Uh, Amstrad CPC got a good port of Ikari Warriors. Even if I tend to prefer Commando, even if it's too hard, we can't go into tank and it's only solo player. Uh, very interesting stuff. I don't know much about the CPC. Uh, Commando is good too. Commando gets a lot more love. I'm just better at Commando. So it seems like Commando is getting a lot more of the love. Um, you mean all of your other watchers have friends or partners that would be your player too on a game like this? Because here at ITC, we're a solo retro gamer. Only modern games seem to get more players than just me. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, 
So let's see here. We've got some more comments coming in. Uh, Sparrow Walk. Is that Sparrow Hawk? Looks like you took all the vowels out. Maybe that's what that stands for. Um, so there we go. I think we're caught up on the comments. So what I've done for this drawing is I've assigned everybody a number um, randomly from their comments. And here are the numbers. So you have Betty, Angel, Bella, number one, OG Hugo, number two, Elizabeth Howell, Sabretooth Retro, BZ Acres, Socrates, kind of take a look at the list here. Um, see if you can find your number. Uh, this is everybody that was, had entered and was eligible. Um, you got this, my friend, 14, 15, Creative Spark. Uh, let me point out anybody I saw chatting right now. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Motown Batman's been a supporter of the channel for a while. Looks like my formatting is off. See Money 206, you're at 36. Jolt, you're at 37. Um, Raimi, you're number 42. Sparrowhawk, you're at 44. Toe Muncher, you're 47. It looks like a lot of you guys got put in the 40s. Um, uh, GTV Japan, subscribe to him. He he really gave me a boost in the early uh, months of the channel. He, he kind of gave me a shout out, so I appreciate that. Crypto Coffee, you're at 66. Everybody's dad is at 67. Um, but there you go. And we had 78 entries total. So the last one there is 78 with, uh, I don't know what that is, Pond 3 Tour Lord. So there is the list. And we are going to draw winners with a random number generator. So uh, YouTube, and I'll kind of scroll through it one more time just so you can see. Um, so YouTube has a nice, simple random number generator that I was going to use for this, and I decided that wasn't good enough. So we are going to use the wheel. <laughs> the wheel will decide the winner. So we're going to spin the wheel. Uh, Obsidian, did you leave a comment? I think you're right. Didn't you leave a comment, Obsidian? Yeah, now that you say that, I'm almost positive you did. You were on the list? Let me see here. Sorry, guys, I know this ain't entertaining, but I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. And uh, Obsidian's always on, on here, so I thought maybe he he doesn't remember. I, I'm looking through the comment section right now of that video just to make sure because it, it could be possible I, I missed you, but I thought I double-checked. So, again, talks amongst yourself. I wish I had Vinny here to distract you guys. <laughs> um, well, I take a look at what the heck I, I did or didn't do. Um, I don't see you on here, Obsidian. You must, must not have commented or maybe something happened. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing you on here, Obsidian. I apologize. Um, to be fair, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to st stick to the rules, but I know if... Let me see if... Uh, let me just make sure there's no comments that like got blocked for some reason. Again, talks amongst yourselves while I do what I probably should have done earlier. I thought I had all the names for sure, but I just want to double, double check um, because I'd hate for somebody who... Uh, entered on time not to be entered into the drawing here um, pack Billy just left a comment it was the deadline was midnight on the 14th pack Billy I'm sorry um, let me see here yeah make sure because this isn't gonna be our only uh, giveaway um, 
Yeah, I don't see on here. I apologize, Obsidian. We're going to do more stuff like this. I'm hoping to give away a 400 mini, stuff like that, as we continue to hit milestones. So, um, here we go, guys. So, this first spin is going to be for the free piece of merch. So, what we'll do, I'll spin it. Uh, if your number comes up, head over to my merch store. I'll have a link. I have links all over for it, but... I'll, I'll put a link in the description of this video, and I'll put it out when I uh, do the post about it all over social media. Uh, just let me know what you want. We'll get shipping information, and I'll send it to you absolutely free. So make the deal. Spin the wheel. Let's see who wins a free piece of merch, and you'll also get your suggestion made into a video. Uh, let's spin the wheel. Do 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 Spinning the wheel and it's lagging. Seems like with all this stuff going, it's it's now lagging. It spun really good earlier, um, and now it's kind of like freezing up and stuff. So I apologize. Apparently, it's still spinning. I swear to God, in rehearsal, I did rehearse this many times. This wheel worked perfect, and now for me, it's, uh, it kind of works like crap. It's, uh, it's loading. I, th I think it's spinning. It sh I feel like it should have stopped by now. <laughs> Just, uh... You gotta love technology. I swear, I did this yesterday. I did it this morning. I did it today, uh, um, multiple, many times. Many of you won in practice. And now for the live thing, apparently it's it's lagging and spinning. I might have to reset this here. Let me uh, let me take a look. What the heck is going on? Yeah, this is uh. Not what how it acted earlier. Okay. Got gotta love this. Uh, this is going exactly how I thought it would, flawlessly. <laughs> Nothing has gone wrong to this point. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, I reloaded the wheel. So let's spin the wheel. There it goes. Good luck, everybody. I hope somebody wins. Uh, my bet is on somebody winning. And the winner is number 63. So let's go to the contestant list and see who 63 was. 63 is... Pierre Garou, I mispronounced your last name, but Pierre, you want a free piece of merch from the Atari Network merch store. So it's all the new stuff, unfortunately. It's not the old stuff that's on eBay for $1,000. Um, but Pierre, you won, as I dropped my phone, uh, a piece of Atari Network merchandise. So, and... Let me look up his comment really quickly because we're going to do a video on what you suggested. And again, thank you so much for your support. I have your comments in a very easy to read format on my phone. So, Pierre, your comment was Time to embarrass you by reading it out loud. Congrats on 2K. You have great content, reviews. New and old stuff, champ games, Mighty Vision games, hardware. Um, you want to see a video on the results of the Atari Homebrew Awards. So is that the, the thing that... Um, I think I saw Pierre in here. Uh, is that the thing that Zero Page did? We, we can absolutely... We can do like a, a recap on the results of, of that. Um, so I'll, I'll get with you. We'll make sure that's what you wanted. But okay, guys, time for the big prize. Pierre, I'll reach out to you, and uh, we'll, we'll figure out your shipping address and what it is you want. But now it's time, guys. It's time for the big prize. Good luck to everybody.
you're going to get a 2600 plus sent to your door hit the like button and let's get a good winner here do 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 and the winner is nope nope it's still spinning it's still spinning Number 30. Who was number 30? Number 30 was... Michael Long. Mike Michael Long, I think, is what it was. So, Michael Long, if, if you're watching, let me know. If you are not watching, then I will find a way to reach out to you. And, of course, basically, you have a week to claim your prize you have uh seven days next saturday if i message you and you don't message back we'll do a redraw but i hope you do michael long um and let's see what video is getting made based off his con comment as i look through the comments on my phone and look away from my viewers um and congratulations to pierre too for getting the uh, merch. Thank you to everybody that left comments. That was by far Wasn't Michael Long Michael Knight's name before he became Knight Rider? <laughs> uh, yeah So let's see Michael Long you Subscribed and loved the info loved the nostalgia and news uh, Once videos on storage tips and tricks and maybe on collecting Atari stuff just a couple of ideas Thank you so, yeah, absolutely, we can do sort of a um, storage um, video, I guess. Not really storage. I'll probably lean more into the collecting side. But thank you, everybody. That video had way more comments than any video I've ever done in the past. It was incredible. Um, you know, there was 78 people that entered, but there was like 180 comments between all the suggestions and stuff. Um, should Michael fail to uh, collect his prize, I'll do a redraw on um, the next Man vs. 7800, maybe the podcast. So again, thank you to everybody. Congratulations to the winner, uh, winners, and look forward to the videos that they... <laughs> All right, and make sure that you uh, look forward to the videos they recommended. Obsidian calling me Vanna. Um, I like to get a big physical wheel so I can spin it. For all of you guys, and I'll wear a long, shimmery dress. Um, we're going to do definitely do another giveaway. Um, I, I want to give back to you guys a lot because you've given me so much. You've given me the opportunity to play Atari and make uh, a teeny bit of ad revenue off of it and whatnot. And the support has been incredible from the community. But enough of that mushy stuff. We're going we're gonna to give this one more go, guys. So let's see if we can beat Ikari Warriors on the stream we have to beat a game hey blitzer you just missed the drawing um i apologize you didn't win but i think you came pretty close <laughs> i think you were right in the 30s there if i remember so let's give this another go and let's see if man can beat 7800 here as we land oh no he wasn't calling me vanna he was looking at pictures of vanna okay I apologize, Obsidian. Why Why would you comment about the video? I, 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 I'm kidding, but yeah. Makes more sense to me because uh, I, I would rather look at mana any day of the week than myself, for sure. So I do not blame you one bit. So again, I believe... I, I'd have to look, but I think the power... Uh, power-ups is like ammo or something as I die already. It is so hard to talk and play these games. I might have to reset, because that probably messed me up pretty bit, pretty bad. Um, but I know you guys don't want to watch me quietly play the game and focus. You want the uh, banter that this channel is known for. Yep, we're going to reset this real quick. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We need a better start than that, so... Forgive me, let's take two. Let's act like that didn't happen. Let's uh, just start over. Um, so anyway, yep, we just did the drawing. The drawing was just done. And now we are 
playing our second game, we did not already do a second one and die immediately and give up immediately. So, um, yeah, there's that. My, my big recommendation, if you're going to play this game for yourself, is liberal use of the uh, grenades. Is by far the best way to get uh, anywhere in this game. You also don't want to go right for the tank because they always seem to put like grenade guys in the way of the tank. Um, so you kind of want to take an angle to it or, or go the opposite way because they're kind of tricky like that in this game. They're, they're not very nice and they, they will have ways for you to die as you get into the tank. And that's kind of a, you know, a, a new player death trap if I'm honest. And, you know, it makes sense to an extent, I guess. But very much uh, old school game design, not not what people tend to do these days. You also, again, you have to hit the right button to uh, move your um, turret there on the top of your tank, which uh, can be different, a little different too than what you might expect. But the key thing to get anywhere in this game is to try not to die. Also, those guys that blink, they blow up one shot, so you gotta be careful of them. Um, but yeah, the key to getting anywhere is not to die, because once you get uh, a powered up tank or a gun and you get the, the orange grenades, uh, you don't want to lose them. If you lose them, that's really the end of the, the game, you know? Because uh, it's it's so hard to get back up to that level. Uh, we're running low on our fuel, so we need to try to find... Make it. All right, we got to the gas in time. And really, the only thing that can hurt you in the tank is uh, grenades, more or less. You also, you, you can't keep the tank forever, so eventually, as you come up to the water here, they're going to force you out. Keep that in mind, too. Oh, I hit the mic again. I'm still, I changed my setup around. Let me know if you guys uh, even noticed or care or like it. Um, before, I, I had everything kind of faced around. Now it's facing the wall, so the ugly side of my desk is now facing out where, where uh, you can see it. Shoot, that is not good, that is not good. So we'll be fine as long as we can uh, not die and keep our power-ups. Because um, these grenades are uh, essential to winning. Because they got such a big radius that you, know, you can kill anything without having to get too close. Which helps out a ton. So, uh, but I would have rather not have lost my tank at the juncture of the game. K, save the K until you load up the screen with enemies, because obviously that's a kill all. Not obviously, but that's what it is. Again, thanks to everybody who uh, joined into the stream. Congratulations if you missed it. We drew the winners just a little bit ago. Um, Pierre won a piece of Atari Network merch and asked for a video on the results of the Homebrew Awards. Um, he'll have to clarify uh, what the homebrew awards. I think it's zero page, uh, and I apologize. I know it's a big deal to the uh, homebrew developers, and it's awesome they get the recognition that you know they they so rightfully deserve. Um, but I am not familiar if there's any other. You know, there could be more than just zero page, is what I'm saying. So I want to make sure I make the video he wants, and the winner. 
of the uh, 2600 plus was Michael Long, um, who was a new subscriber, um, and I'm, I'm glad he won. I, I, you guys all have supported me so long. Um, a lot of you have been here since the days when Man vs. 7800 was like the only video on the channel. Um, so if, if you're new, this is kind of what I started the YouTube channel doing, but it wasn't a live stream. It was uh, just a series of videos where I played 7800 games, and I didn't want to do uh, just a walkthrough. Um, my, my intentions for Man vs. 7800... Oh, I don't know if I can get in that tank without blowing up. Um, my intention with Man 7800 was not to do a walkthrough, but rather do a uh, series of videos uh, telling about like the development of the games. That was bold. That's BS. The those tanks are a death trap. I kind of thought they were, but now now we're heavily heavily hindered. Um, but yeah, I would uh, beat the games and talk about the development. Because the one thing I wanted to do on this channel was, you know, these games are so cool. I think 7800 games are awesome. Um, you know, it's a, it's a console that was very much in line with the NES. Um, but it doesn't get the recognition. Even the Master System gets more recognition than, than the uh, 7800. I'm not saying, you know, those consoles don't deserve it. But... I, I think the 7800 games are incredible games, and I I wanted to spread the word of, of you know who developed these games, um, you know what, uh, and, and how cool they were. Um, overall, the videos didn't get much traction, but it was early on in the channel's life too. So um, so I switched over because it, it was very clear that covering topics was was more in line with like what people wanted to see so that's what we did so again using grenades li liberally <laughs> as often as we can is the best way to go here they have such a huge blast radius that you just all you gotta do is get in the general area Again, thanks to everybody watching and chatting in the chat. Chat away. There's such a great community here of, of great guys um, that you you should be a part of it. If you if you love Atari, you love talking Atari casually with and uh, with people, but you don't have uh, people in your life that appreciate the hobby. Um, you know, chatting with with the, the fellas in the community that we've kind of built. Uh, is great because they're not only knowledgeable on the stuff, but they, they have great opinions. I really feel like a lot of you if, you, if you made videos, they'd probably be far more interesting than the ones I make because uh, some of you know so much about this stuff um, and have such a deep understanding and appreciation and love for Atari that it's just incredible. So, um, you know, please, if, if you're so interested uh, or, or, or want people to talk Atari with, you know, get active in the, the community. We have a Discord server um, that we just started, and, and OG Hugo has kind of taken the ball on uh, moderating, not even moderating, but setting that up and making it um, something <laughs> usable um, from a sort of skeleton server that I kind of started, so... Thank you so much to Hugo for undertaking that, because I, I know he's he's busy with his eBay store and, and all kinds of stuff. And, uh, you know, to, to also undertake that was incredibly kind of you, Hugo, so thank you so much. As I blow myself up, that was a bad, bad thing to do, because we had the grenades that we needed. Without the orange grenades, it is a lot tougher to get anywhere in this game. Um, but we'll, we'll persevere. Okay. So yeah, join the Discord server. Uh, there's links all over the channel. I'll, I'll, uh, put a link in the description of this video and also in my post that, uh, you know, where I'm going to talk about the winners of the, uh, giveaways and stuff. 
but join the Discord server if you do uh, Discord, if, if that's something that you enjoy. Um, a lot of great guys over there uh, talking Atari you know, all the time, any time of day or night. You, you got the hankering for some Atari? You want, you know, kind of, I want to talk ball blazer at 3 in the morning. Somebody will be on there to, to you know, kind of chat back with you. Um, it's still, it's a growing uh, community still. Um, one that we're trying to get up off the ground. Um, so join, be part of it, have fun, all that stuff. And again, we uh, gave away a piece of merch from the merch store. Um, we had to change our logo. I can talk about that a little bit while we play here. So I woke up the one morning um, and I, I had a message from my merch store um, telling me that um, several pieces of my merchandise had been uh, removed uh, due to a uh, legal request. And I, I wasn't mad about it or anything. It's not like, uh, you know, I'm going to do like the 8-tracks and Lava Lamps thing uh, that I did and say, you know, we need to stand up. Because I, I understand. They, Atari is making a comeback, and they have to protect their, their brand. So something called the Atari Network, using um, the Fuji and their font, could be uh, construed as like, oh, that's Atari's uh, YouTube channel. They... They've made a, a, a YouTube channel, and they're calling it a network or whatever. Um, so I, I totally get it. I, I wasn't up in arms about it or anything like that. Um, but it still kind of sucked because I, I had to change the logo. That I didn't have to. The YouTube channel was not under any fire. It was not going to go away. But... I feel like I need to be distinctive anyway. Um, you know, not only for respect from the company that I'm I'm trying to uh, promote and appreciate, but you know, I think it, it's just a good idea in general to to do your own thing. You know, you don't want to uh, necessarily take somebody else's hard work, uh, even though uh, most of this Atari stuff was designed and. and you know, kind of done way before the people that are there now. Um, I still want to respect their intellectual property. So, I uh, made the executive decision to change the logo. And I, I personally, I, I really like it. I think it's unique enough where uh, there shouldn't be any confusion. Damn, he's going to blow up my tank. That's one of the hardest tanks to get, I think, outside of the trap tanks. It really screwed us over. I should have never tried to get into those tanks. Um, my dogs are asking to go outside. They're all over my leg right now. So I might have to pause to let them out if they continue to uh, make such a request. And the wife and kids are not home. They are bathing suit shopping. Uh, after we die here, uh, or if we die here, because man needs to triumph over 7,800. Um, I'll stop and catch up with you guys on the comments. But again, thanks for coming and watching and enjoying the video. Hit the likes button if you're enjoying yourself or you think uh, there's some value to be had in this stream. Greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget that Vinny Vineyard, my podcast co-host, has started his own Atari-based YouTube channel. So he's always had the YouTube channel and uh, Big and Funky Productions, which is the YouTube channel basically for his his movie uh, company, which is fine. Um, but I, I, when I first got into YouTube and I, I researched it, I told them, man, uh, that's like rule one is do not mix your content uh, from what I was told. And, and he's a stubborn guy. He's a very proud guy, as he should be. He's worked hard to uh, be a, a movie maker um, and a very talented one. Uh, his, if, the budgets of his movies are very low, and it's very impressive that they 
they look as good as they do for you know how much money they're spending but he he had to make a separate channel for his atari content because it wasn't getting out to you guys and he works very hard on it so again look for atari 7800 forever the youtube channel um like subscribe it find some videos to watch he put out uh a lot of stuff on there so i think we just gotta keep tight and move away from that guy yeah keep tight to this side of the screen see without the orange bullets or uh grenades we're we're kind of uh See them fancy moves? Man. I'll take your orange grenade. I really had to focus there, but man, we, we kind of juked him out a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, 7800, Atari 7800 forever, YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe to him. If you watch the podcast and, and you like what we do there, uh, he's the co-host on the podcast. He's a hilarious guy has a great mind for just entertainment in general so um, please give him a subscribe if you would you don't have to if you don't want to i appreciate you even being here for the atari network uh stuff and i'm hoping we can get a win for you guys man needs to beat 7800 here we've been embarrassed by 7800 since the start of this so we're going to play things a little safe. A little bit safe, a little bit boring. Oh my god, that was that was a dirty trick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I forgot the aerial missiles start coming down a lot more here. That's one of them things if you don't know where they are, you're you're kind of screwed. Pretty sure there's one on the bridge here. Is what I, I'm thinking of. Sorry if I've been quiet. We're gonna lose our tank here. Now, if we keep these orange grenades, we might be able to do it, guys. Uh, but we're coming up to a very difficult portion of the game. desperately need these grenades to have a chance come on get oh no oh oh no oh no they want you to go straight up the middle okay yeah them aerial uh oh god oh god oh no oh no there's nothing i could do they, they, them things are ridiculous that's probably to to what uh ivory towers was saying before that's probably the part that I feel is the cheapest part of this game are, are them air missiles that start coming down because there's nothing you can do They start coming down fast and furious at certain parts and you're you're already being fed into a small area so But we really couldn't we really need these um, Orange grenades that's the best way to get through the levels to just liberally use them Oh, we blew up our own tank. I didn't. I kind of let go right as I realized what I was doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, you really need those because then, ooh, you uh, you can at least you don't have to be dead on accurate. You can be in the general vicinity and and avoid things, and and still kind of have a chance. So, but we do have plenty of extra guys right now. I'll say that our score is doing really good. guys with orange grenades the orange grenade guys they're uh they're tough ones they're tough cookies to beat okay he was not one 
But yeah, you know, competing with the other orange grenade guys is not easy or fun. I thought for sure I killed that guy. Okay. You gotta stay away from the blinking guys. If you haven't noticed, the blinking guys blow up when they're shot. Oh, and we got killed. Okay. We did get in our increased firepower, which is good. Uh, we need our increased grenades would be the main thing we need right now. close to the end here. cheap you gotta be kidding me oh my god oh that was incredibly cheap we were right there guys um man i think uh 7800 this i am not doing good on this show i apologize and the dogs are begging to go out i just want to catch up with the chat really quick and uh i appreciate all you guys coming watching hitting the like button um taking a look back at the chat uh the dog is barking at me uh winner is you wait let me check my comment after this i'm looking for this cart this is a great version uh obsidian of this game um absolutely um fantastic johnny car who's the johnny carson of atari Vinny. um Daniel son karate kid reference if you're too young for the quote uh, I don't think anybody in here is that young but possibly uh, yeah uh, ivory tower you know that might be my issue I forgot to use them because I'm so used to how much more limited they are in commando yeah uh, you, you really gotta be liberal with the grenades use them as much as you can um, let me see no you had a number uh, blitzer it's uh it's here i'll show it to you real quick in case you're still watching um uh, because i know you had a number because you were in there um i don't remember where exactly again guys we're gonna wrap uh wrap up here pretty soon because 7800 has beat me but we we're right there you were 41 blitzer 41 um Let's see. John, quote of the century. The key to getting anywhere is not to die. <laughs> Did I say that? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hugo answered him. I should have said that. Or should have seen that. Uh, Ramey had to call his tax man to reschedule. Seems better when you talk a little closer to it. No big deal. Gotcha. Uh, who is the winner? Says Edward Longstreet Films. You were also entered in there, but uh, unfortunately, you were not the wiener. This game is so realistic. If you look at old World War II documentary footage, whenever a soldier was hit, he would spin in circles in the opposite direction. <laughs> right, so if you watch those old documentaries, they would spin around and then blink out of existence, which made cleanup really easy. Um, let's see. Ramy Butler, welcome back. Have you ever played Tax Avoiders? He's playing Tax Avoiders in real life, it looks like there, Joel. <laughs> Just kidding, of course, Ramy. Um, yeah, 2600 plus, I believe, has support for, uh, on audio chips, the, the pokey and stuff. So, yeah. 
but stuff like yeah ivory tower ivory tower knows all this stuff subscribe to him too he does he puts up very interesting technical videos um but yeah a uh, bunch of swinging joysticks up in here <laughs> says crypto um yeah 1942 had the yamaha sound for sure uh somebody's looking for bigfoot Jolt loves starting his day with the Atari Network. I love that you love starting your day with the Atari Network. Um, Raimi wishes he could do YouTube, but he doesn't have a face. <laughs> but he has a face for cave paintings. Do you, do you see my face? Well, I'm, I'm in the darkness now. It was really well lit um, with natural light. But do you see my face? This is a face meant for radio or <laughs> to be covered in a bag. Um, let me see here. Uh, Atari even sent a cease and desist to Zero Page Homebrew crew over their use of the rainbow colors, I think. Wow. Yeah, that, uh, that's a little extreme, Ivory. Um, yeah, it's also why Atari Age stopped. Well, Atari Age is owned by Atari, right? So why they should be able to use the Atari logo, you would think. I don't know. Maybe they're owned by them, but still a different entity. Um, let's see, Hugo looks good. I should have got the 40th anniversary cart. But I have his original Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, the Pac-Man cart. Uh, 40th anniversary was pretty good, but if you own the original, I don't think you really need to. Uh, ABBA does not work, Beamy Donut. Uh, that's the thing. Oh, well, John, we still respect the Atari network. This is the best console version, absolutely. Beamy says NES is better. Ooh, that's that's uh, fighting words around here. Uh, Yes, but it has sticky points. Watch the AVGN episode. Yeah, there, it's not it's not perfect, I'll tell you that. Um, Blitzer, yeah, it was, but everything uh, Jack Trammell did was budget, marketed as a budget, whatever. Um, let's see here. By the way, does anybody have the SNK collection? Uh, I do not. Uh... Let me see, 2600 Junior, you guys are talking along. Great to see all the interaction in the chat. John, put a Toledo whooping on that 7800. Yeah, the 7800 beat us. I think we, we got fairly close, if I remember. Uh, oh, I'm the Johnny Carson of Atari. Very big true. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Uh, 7800 wins this time, but the Toledo kid will win next time. Very good point. So we're going to wrap up here, but I want to let you guys know that in the next edition of Man vs. 7800, we are going to get a win because I have selected a game that I know I can win. That's right. Let me see because I had a preview uh, here. Next episode will be on Night Guide and Low Res World Castle Days. I, we will beat that game. I promise you, we will beat that game. We should have beat Double Dragon. I, I have an excuse for why we lost against Double Dragon. I was watching the gameplay from the computer rather than the TV, and I realized there's a slight lag in the controls, so I I think we need a redemption episode against the uh, uh, Double Dragon 7800. Uh, yes, Hugo, I am playing on the 2600+, plus. absolutely. Uh, I feel like that's the best way to do it, so you guys can get high definition. Um, I always play on real hardware. I, I, don't, I don't do emulation, but I have nothing against emulation. If you guys want to emulate, do it. Enjoy these old games however you can. You do not have to pay a ton for these, these old retail games because the developers ain't making a dime off them. So play Atari however you can. Play Atari today. Play Atari with your kids, your loved ones. It's a great time. I really enjoy it. Um, Atari sent Atari... A s <laughs> Wait, Ramey, what is that? Atari sent Atari... Uh, a cease and desist. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Very interesting stuff there. Well, guys, uh, yeah, Tremel didn't take it atari he he was serious about atari to the extent that he wanted um to to make some money and and try to compete with his old company but uh it was very evident that yeah you know his best years were behind him at that point okay guys thank you so much for joining the stream uh thank you for enjoying the con uh content 
congratulations to the winners, Pierre. I know Pierre was in here at one time. I swore I saw him. Um, let me know what piece of merch you want. Um, I'll let Michael Long know that he won. Now, if neither of them claim their prize, uh, we will do a redraw. So, again, you might still have an opportunity. Um, but we'll just wait and see. I'm going to post on all the social medias and stuff. Also, tomorrow we have a video review of Sinistar uh, for the 5200. So if you like Sinistar, check that out. I think it's a very fun game. I'm very poorly lit right now. I moved things around and I did not put the lighting where it needs to be. Uh, but again, thanks guys for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. I hope everybody had fun. And uh, with that, I think we're going to wrap things up. Um, so yeah, I appreciate all the support. And we will see you in the next one. Until then, remember to stay classy, Atarians.